This is the June 2015 New York State Chem Regents exam, questions 76 through 79. Pause the video, answer the questions, or if you've already answered the questions, if you have a copy of the Regents, and take a look and compare your answers to mine, and um, check out the explanations if you're having trouble with one of the questions. Okay, let's go with question 76. It says, write a chemical formula for one compound formed by the com combination of potassium ions with one of the ions in water that completely evaporates. So again, when you do these questions, you see this solid line here at the bottom. All of the information above can pertain to 76 through 79. So, what do you know about potassium? Potassium is a positive ion, a metal that's lost an electron. Positive ions will bond with negative ions. So we're looking for a negative ion, or at least one, here on this table. And we'll go with the first one. We have KCl would be an option. Another option would have been potassium with sulfate. The only thing with potassium and sulfate, just be careful, because sulfate's charge is minus 2, potassium's plus 1. So it would have been K2SO4. For most students, it's going to be a lot easier to just write KCl. And you only asked to, to write the formula for one compound. So you could stop right there. So again, your answer, KCl is acceptable or K2SO4. Let's move to 77. It says determine the number of moles of sulfate ions in this 14 or in a 1400 liter sample. Well, you're dealing with moles, you're dealing with some values here, that means we need to take a look at reference table T. Now, students get confused. There are two places where you see the word moles, for mole calculations, and the other is for concentration with moles of solute for molarity. Well, how do you know which one to use? you got to read the question. If we go back, and let me... Just get rid of the other answer here, so to make it less confusing for you. And I'm going to change it to blue. It's determine the number of moles in a 1,400 liter sample. Well, 1,400 liter sample, that's volume. And take a look at the table that's given above the question. Concentrations, capital M, stands for molarity. So there's your answer. If I go back... I'm looking at this concentration equation here. So, molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. Well, my molarity for sulfate, copy it exactly as you see it, that's 0 0.028, actually 0 0.028, and that's equal to X, that's my moles, over 1,400 liters. So I didn't have to change it, it's already in, in liters. Now what you need to do is to take out a calculator. You need to get X alone. Again, you're going to, you're going to multiply both sides by 1400, or if you're not sure, put the 1 under the 0.028, cross multiply and divide, and you're going to get an answer for 77 of 39 moles. That's your answer. If you have your setup right, and you don't get 39 moles as your answer, then there was a math problem. Go back and check. Let's look at question 78. It says in 78 to compare the radius of a magnesium ion in seawater to the radius of a magnesium atom. Well, in my class, we use an acronym called MELPS. HELPS. MELPS stands for metals. Electrons lose, they become positively charged, and they get smaller. So think about it. You have a metal ion with a 2 plus charge. Why? Because it lost two electrons. Meaning that the magnesium ion, this 2 plus ion, is smaller than what it started out as, as a magnesium atom. Okay.
Finally, for question 79, again, let me erase some of the information here to make it easier to see. For question 79, you're looking at the answer booklet, and what you're asked to do is to draw two water molecules in the box, showing the orientation of each water molecule towards calcium. Well, if we take a look, here's the answer booklet, the um, diagram and the key. You're dealing with calcium, which is positively charged. What you need to remember is that a water molecule, right, which is oxygen and two hydrogens, the oxygen end is negative and the hydrogen end is positive. We have these two polar covalent bonds between oxygen and hydrogen. Oxygen being more electronegative, so again, this is negative end and this is the positive end. So we have to use the key now. And what do we want to do? We want to make sure that the negative end of the water molecule is by the positive calcium ion. So that's all it is, is drawing two water molecules. Okay. And make sure that we're showing this is a lousy water molecule here. Hold on. Let's try it again. Are near the positive ion. And that's the answer to 79. Check out more videos, information, test taking tips for the New York State Regents exam in chemistry in general at www.nychemcom. I'm sorry. Chemcoach, not chemcom, chemcoach.com.